The Logitech G-Hub software is going to be the number one place to have all of our different webcam settings tweaked and saved, so that way you can have different scenes set up to the way that you want it to. This will give us the control that we need to be able to tweak all the settings to the way that we want it and to overall give us the best webcam quality. So that's why today I'm going to be teaching you exactly how to set up the Logitech C920 webcam with the Logitech G-Hub software. If you guys are concerned about your webcam quality and your overall appearance while you're streaming, then you guys should consider getting an animated webcam overlay for your streams and videos. Owned is my number one place to find anything stream related so if we navigate over to stream design elements they have everything you could possibly want but today we're looking for webcam overlays so we'll click that you can see all of the different options here I'm personally a fan of having a more minimal design so we can click on the minimal webcam overlay and it'll bring you this page right here which you can add it to your card if you'd like but if you want a better preview we'll click on the orange tab we'll click on the second tab in and now you can see a nice animated preview of the webcam overlays that you'll be getting so if you guys want to upgrade your streams feel free to check this out I'll leave all the links you need in the description down below but I promise you guys how to set up your C920 using the Logitech software so let me show you how to do it first step navigate yourself over to Google I typed in G hub make sure that you type in G hub and not a different kind of hub if you know what I mean and we're gonna pick the top link right here which is Logitech G hub advanced gaming software from here you can either download for Windows 10 which I'm going to do in this case or you can download for Mac if you're an Apple user once you've downloaded installed the program it should look something like this and now you can see that I actually have two Logitech devices plugged into my computer which is the c920 and the brio if you guys don't see anything popped up here unplug and replug your c920 and it should pop up on the home screen once you have it popped up i'm going to click on the c920 so if we look in the middle you can see a preview of our webcam if you're not seeing a preview of your webcam make sure to close any other pieces of software that may be using your webcam like streamlabs obs zoom anything that's using your webcam turn that off if you don't see the preview here but if you gaze over to the left hand side you can see we got a couple different camera modes this is the default so this is what it looks like right out the box which kind of looks like crap wouldn't recommend using that if you want a quick fix just use streaming and the streaming preset looks pretty freaking good doesn't it but I'm gonna be showing you that you also have different options we're gonna add a new camera mode and this is going to allow you to change all the different settings that you want to so as you can see that autofocus is kind of annoying so I'm gonna turn the autofocus off and turn it all the way to the left because if I turn it all the way to the right you're gonna notice it gets very very blurry you can also kind of tweak it to where you want it to be but I find that all the way to the left for my setup is what I like to do next thing you want to know is the exposure personally I like leaving it to auto and then changing the priority to frame rate because now it looks so much better doesn't it this is what the c920 is capable of and you should be using these kind of settings otherwise if you leave it on default you look like a turd and it just looks you know pretty bad you can go and just change the settings that I did there and it looks a lot better and then from there if you want to keep going you can also change your zoom you can use these arrows on the side if you want to have a nice close-up for you so if you want to have a more intimate shot like so then you can use this we also have a video tab here which honestly I wouldn't recommend using it just kind of puts more stress on your webcam but if you want to have like the gag like you know black and white cartoon sickness stuff like that then be my guest if you really want to change some settings I'd recommend adding a new filter and not changing any of these more than like five or ten percent the only one that I would possibly change is maybe like sharpness and I turn it up just a little bit because it's gonna make our image a little bit sharper but if you go too crazy with it then you'll notice like everything is so like chiseled and you can see the graininess of it so I would just probably change it maybe like 20 25 and I think that is a pretty nice shot and then if you happen to notice that your room is a little bit too orange or a little bit too blue then you change the white balance so the white balance all the way on the left you look like you're in the Antarctic in the middle of an igloo or if you're all the way on the right then you look like an orange pumpkin you just want to kind of find something that accurately represents the lighting in your room then I would stick around that or you can just leave it on auto it's really up to you but personally I'm just gonna leave it over there I think that's a little more accurate saturation is gonna saturate the colors it's gonna make it a little bit more apparent which you can see my face got a a little bit more red around my nose so let's not do that I don't want to look like a cherry but you can probably just turn it right around there it's really up to your personal taste and preference and I flicker I just leave it 60 but now if you see we can actually navigate between all these different presets if your webcam settings ever change you can just go into G hub and then just click on the C920 and then you can click on your presets they're always gonna be there so if something ever happens to get messed up you just go and click on your presets and you're good to go but now that you know how to control the settings on your webcam you really got to check out this video right here it's gonna help you out immensely in your streaming adventures and your webcam journey so check this video out right now